say hello to the new Lightning Lane Premier Pass here at Disney World. And if you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Let me explain. And you're not gonna believe the prize on this one. So Disney World is rolling out a brand new way to skip the lines starting on October 30th, and it's called the Lightning Lane Premier Pass. Now, if you're someone who loves maximizing their time at Disney World, this might appeal to you, but at this price, we've got to break down if it's actually worth it. So what exactly is the Lightning Lane Premier Pass? Unlike the current Lightning Lane Multi-Pass, the new Premier Pass will not require you to select a return time. So you can literally hop in line for any Lightning Lane ride anytime you want, no reservation needed. The Premier Pass means no waking up at 7 a.m., no stress picking your selections for Tier 1 and Tier 2 and going through all of that hoopla. This will allow you to just walk up to any ride you want at Disney World and hop in line. But there's a catch to this. And hold on to your hats, partner, because this prize. Now the price for the Premier Pass will fluctuate the same way that the current Lightning Lane multi-pass and single pass does, but it's the big jump in price that makes this just something else. Okay, so Animal Kingdom, we're talking about a range from 129 to 199. Epcot is 169 to 249. This is per person plus tax. Here at Hollywood Studios, it's 269 to, wait for it, 349 and for Magic Kingdom, y'all aren't ready for this. 329 to 449. A person. <laughs> yeah, I know those numbers sound scary, but let's talk it out because it maybe could potentially save you some time and ultimately money if used correctly. So let's say you're here at Hollywood Studios, for example. With the Premier Pass, you'll get access to the most popular rides like Rise of the Resistance and Slinky Dog Dash. You can do them all with minimal stress. You literally just walk up to the line, tap in, and go. Think of all the time you're saving, not having to wake up early and book lightning lanes during your actual trip, not having to be glued to your phone, looking to change reservations, or trying to find a lightning lane that has opened up. You can actually spend more time creating precious memories with your loved ones, and that's what we're really all about here at this channel. Now, the key with this is that it's gonna be a especially valuable during peak season when the lines get really long. Ironically, I was actually working on a video about the best and worst times to come to Disney World when this breaking news happened. And by crunching the numbers, I found out that some of the busiest times like during Christmas, standby lines can get up to five hours long. Ooh, lights, yay. <laughs> if you're visiting during busy holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, or even run Disney weekends, this pass could be a huge time saver. However, if you're visiting during a quieter season like late August, early September, the crowds are already lighter at that time, so you might not need to pay for this upgrade. Also, this guy is absolutely incredible tonight. Wow. But let's get into the nitty gritty details. First off, this option is only available to people staying at Disney Deluxe Resorts or select other resorts. And that would mean Swan and Dolphin and Shades of Green. I'm just gonna step up here. All right, but what do you get for this crazy prize? You get access to any ride that has a lightning lane once per day. So no racking up the world record for number of times riding Tron. Also, this is only for one park, whereas the lightning lane and multi-pass allows for park hopping options. And we'll talk more about the differences of these different lightning lanes in just a moment. So all that said, if park hopping is a priority for you, this might not be the best option. However, you could maybe, since you're literally gonna just get to do everything, maybe knock out one park really early in the morning, get a bunch of things done in a couple of hours, then hop over to your second park. We'll have to see how it goes. Whoa, I turned around and look at this moon. What a gorgeous night. I agree. <laughs> A big perk with this is basically getting to guarantee that you'll ride what you want to ride because you no longer have to worry about if there's a reservation time or finding a time slot. Having this flexibility is a huge bonus, especially as going to Disney World has required more and more uh, using the My Disney Experience app and being glued to your phone. This will free you up from that. And as a nice little bonus, you get fast pass video and picture downloads. So if you're like, this sounds great, let's go. How do you actually get it? Well, you can do so through the My Disney Experience app. You'll be able to purchase this Premier Pass 
seven days before the first day of your Disney trip. And on that day, you'll actually be able to get any passes you want for the entire length of your stay up to 14 days. Since there are now three tiers of lightning lanes, let's compare and review them. Let's start with single pass. This provides access to individual attractions that are not part of the Lightning Lane multi-pass. These are their own standalone rides that you pay for individually and separately, regardless of any other kind of Lightning Lanes that you get. And these are the five most popular rides at Disney World. Tron, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train at Magic Kingdom, Rise of Resistance here at Hollywood Studios, Guardians of the Galaxy at Epcot and Pandora, Flight of Passage. <laughs> yeah, Flight of Passage in Animal Kingdom. That sounds so weird for some reason. <laughs> if you wanna see about skipping the line for these attractions, it's going to cost you, at least currently, between 14 to $25 every single attraction for every single person. That's gonna add up quickly. Multi-pass includes multiple attractions at a theme park, but you have to pick arrival windows. The good news about this is that, at least right now, you can park hop with this option, meaning if you get the multi-pass in Hollywood Studios, you can write some things, and then if there's availability, hop on over to Epcot and write some more things. The funky thing with this is that there are, for most parks, tier one and tier two attractions, and there's stipulations around how many you can book in advance for each of the different tiers. So you have to be selective in which reservations you choose. You can always book more the day of your actual Disney World vacation, but that's dependent on there still being availability. So it's a little bit of a risk. Also, this does not include any of those single pass rides that I just mentioned. Now, recap on Premier Pass. This offers one-time entry to every Lightning Lane attraction in one park without scheduling arrival windows, but this also includes any attraction that is part of both multi-pass and single pass. Now, if you're like, good to know, good to know, but not for me and my family, I am, however, worried about how this will impact my multi-pass and my single pass lighting lines. Let's get into that. First off, to ease any worry, you absolutely do not need to buy any of these lightning lane passes. There is a standby line or a virtual queue line for select attractions for every single thing at Disney World. So this is not a necessity in order to ride things. This will now just give you options at different price points starting at free all the way up to $450. I'm still not over that. Now, as for the actual queue you're standing in, it's going to be using the exact same queue as any lightning lane that is currently in place, meaning we're just going to have the standby line or we're just going to have the lightning lane line. Also, this is just an additional level of lightning lane. It's having zero impact on how multi-pass or single pass lightning lanes work currently. And thank goodness, because I'm just now getting adjusted to those changes. However, Disney may do some adjustments on the back end as far as how many actual passes and in which tier and for which rides that they allocate availability for. It may potentially just mean that some attractions that maybe were easier to get on or maybe a little bit harder or maybe vice versa, depending on which level of lightning lane you get and which attractions, the time of year and all that good stuff. It just might look a little bit different potentially. Disney has said that this is a pilot program. So if you're staying one of those deluxe resorts and this is something you're interested in, maybe, I don't know, sooner rather than later, but the way things are changing at Disney World, who knows? But if there are ever any changes, I will be bringing you the latest because I'm all about bringing you Disney tips and strategies so that you can keep creating magical memories. But let's get down to the real question. Is this actually worth the insane price? Now, if you ever consider doing one of those really expensive VIP doors that literally cost you thousands a day to get access to all the rides, this could be a good in-between. And if you are just having the all-out baller Disney vacation of your dreams, live your life. But in all seriousness, if you are going during a really busy time of year and you really just want to maximize your time, maybe you have a short amount of time in the parks, especially if all the talk just a minute ago of different lightning lane options and booking windows sounded way too much like a hassle for what's supposed to be a vacation, then this removes that complication. Because for that kind of money, let's be real, you could just buy another day ticket or two to the theme park so you can still ride everything and maybe even at a more leisurely pace. Because I can imagine if you are paying this much money, you're gonna wanna get your money's worth and it's gonna be go, go, go. 
That's my prediction. I'm also all about bringing you transparency, both the good, the bad, the pros and the cons. So I do also feel like I should mention that this does potentially play into the narrative that Disney is kind of pricing out families. And now more than ever, it's essential to maximize your time and money at Disney World, which is why I created this video here to help you do just that. As always, I'm Molly and I'll meet you on Main Street.